dude's on top of the rock too, because driving on the road with property like that is even worse. It's actually a misdemeanor offense in the state of California driving on the road. Really? Hell yeah. So, so you're just gonna get a warning today, like Miss Hecker over there? Yeah. Uh, I don't have to contact you so. How's it going? Good. We're not getting any more tickets. No, no tickets today. Just warnings. No, I said I'm not getting no more tickets. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's Stay good. off the railroad tracks. <laughs> How you doing? You're gonna talk at a seminar. Yeah, that's what we People have been coming out here for years. Yeah. Oh. If she wants to go to DMV, we can plan a trip. She wants to go. Yeah, I know she wants. Can we, can we get a picture together? Yeah. Okay, look, at, look at that round part. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> The First Amendment uh, talks about the redress of grievances against your government. And all Mr. Begum and I and, and Mrs. Smith. Uh, I'm in the Fresno City Council Chamber. And we're going to talk about homeless issues. Good morning. Thank you for inviting us here today. Uh, my name is Joel Simons, 4902 North 9th Street. The Fresno First Steps Home website says that there are 3,500 unsheltered homeless in Fresno and another 10,500 homeless sleeping in a place not their own. We think that there are more than that. First step says that homelessness costs our community $80 million a year in public resources. Where can the homeless go while they wait for housing vouchers. <laughs> Many cities have answered that question with programs that are working. Without viable temporary programs, we face an army of perhaps 5,000 homeless marching through our streets and neighborhoods every day without help and without hope. But the plan for transition needs to be fully described and thought out. And that has to be a part of whatever we do. And, and it's so critical uh, to have the county at the table. I said, listen, it's not always easy to get the city and the county to agree on many things. I said, so I don't want to, uh, I don't, I want to be honest about, there will be challenges there, but I think that we can all agree that we have a problem that needs to be solved. And between the three entities, folks that are genuine and true advocates for uh, homeless, the homeless population, uh, the city and the county, I think we can, we can come to a resolution. So I'm very clear on having a very serious plan for transition, uh, uh, codified uh, in any plan that's been made. Um, I also wanted to, to comment on, they did, by the way, say they had a location picked out. So I think one of you all said that they didn't. They're saying that they do. We refurbished housing here for the homeless. We just built a unit. Uh, on Ventura and F Street. We just put a million dollars in the tenant-based rental assistance. We had a Village of Hope here uh, that, you know, and those are all city of, city of Fresno initiated projects. I didn't see any of them in the presentation. Are you guys talking about Eco Village? It is out there talking with groups trying to locate a suitable piece of land. And I think he was talking to the Pavarello House about a piece of land that they thought might be suitable. 